today I'm going to label a CT scan for the GI tract. What I don't have on here labeled because I'm not quite sure um, it, where it is located or if it's even on the CT is the gallbladder, the adrenal glands, and the uh, inferior vena cava. So let's just orient ourselves. Over here is going to be your uh, right side of your patient. And on over here, I mean, sorry, left side of your patient. Over here is going to be the right side of your patient. And this, if we were asked about the muscles, um, up here in front would be the uh, rectus abdominis. And then on the sides could be the um, external obliques. Okay. Then next, normally, which is pretty easy to see, you see the vertebral um, body. And on the sides, which I've gotten a couple of questions on, is the, these are, there's two muscles back here. Um, I've gotten a question, I'll do a CT scan with another one I've, I've seen too. But this is the, on the side of the vertebral body, like on this side, is the psoas major muscle. And then lower than that is the quadrat quad, quadratus lumborium. That's a cute one, y'all. That's a cute. And then this is the spleen. Um, so over here on the left side, we're going to have the spleen. We're going to have our left kidney. I'm just going to put, um, I like to say kid for kidney in the right kidney. Um, we're going to have our aorta right here, A for aorta. This is the right lobe of the liver. And I did this because I'm always getting these questions wrong. And I just, I want to, you know, we if we make this, we can just replay it over and over again. You know what I'm saying? This is the left lobe of the liver. Oh, I got a lobe this time. Okay, and then this right here is our uh, falciform ligament. Falciform. Okay, and then this is the stomach. I'm just going to put S we, for stomach because I mean, we, we get it, you know. Um, this uh, over here on the left side is the descending colon. I'm just DC for descending colon. This right here is, so these are labeled in the, uh, what's it called? step book per se but they're not labeled this is the um sma the uh superior uh mesenteric artery and vein so i just put uh artery and vein okay this is the pancreas The pancreas is so long. Like, I didn't realize, wow, that's a lot. That's, a lot. that's doing a lot. Over here, we have the uh, portal vein. Actually, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do, I don't want to write that out because it's going to get really squishy. So, I'm just going to put um, PV. And uh, this is the portal vein. And then this is the splenic, the, uh, um, splenic vein right here. So let's do this in green. So let's put um, SP and I'll put vein. This this uh, right here. Um, the splenic artery I've seen on other, when I do another CT, CT I'll, have, I'll make sure to have that one on it. And the ones I didn't have on here, I'll do, I'm going to do another one with it on it. Um, and the splenic artery is a little thinner, more thin. Let's see if I forgot anything. Oh, if we did have the adrenals, they would be uh, right here above the, um, the kidneys. And let's see. I think that's it. And remember, the psoas major muscle is sort of beside the um, vertebral body. Um, also, if we were to add, if we were asked like what these muscles out here are, that would be the rectus abdom abdominis, and uh, these over here could be the uh, external obliques. Um, all right, I think that's about it. 
let's let's say it one more time. Uh, the um, right lobe of the liver, the left. We got the left lobe of the liver. Lobe of the liver. Um, if we do another one, if sometimes you can see the gallbladder um, over here somewhere. It would be very obvious. I'll do another CT scan with that on it. But uh, this is the aorta, the superior and the um, in the superior mesenteric artery and vein. The descending colon, sort of doing the ones that are sort of kind of hard for me, I guess. Um, it's easy to tell the, the kidneys. The adrenals can be hard. And then the uh, portal vein. That's a lot of times what people are asking you to um, find.